What's up, Virgos? Welcome back to my channel. This is Divine Balance. My name is Carmen. I'm going to be doing your reading for the second half of April. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate with you, then check the rest of your birth chart and oh, excuse me. check the rest of your birth chart and maybe one of the other signs will resonate with your situation. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, if you would like to follow me on social media, uh, if you would like to donate to the channel and or you would like to check out my website for products that I make myself, all of that is in the description box below. below. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the Virgos. The second half of April. Virgo, second half of April, please. Virgo, second half of April. Virgo, second half of April, please. Virgo. Second half of April, please. Virgo. First one came out was communication. I'm calling you because you're the only one that captures me. So somebody is into you, Virgo. New beginning. Let's for, let's forget about the past. Take a chance and start again. So someone may be reaching out to you soon who wants to um, start over, basically. So it is somebody from the past. They want to um, forget what happened in the past and they want to start over. Three's a crowd. I thought two was better than one, but now I'm torn. So this could be either you or the other person. Take how it resonates. Take it how it resonates. But um, there was some type of third party situation that they're actually letting go of. So, so far so good. The one that may have been cheated on is actually going to want another start question is will you allow it All right, tell me more about Virgo second half of April please hmm. abstinence having a dry spell or sex drought can be frustrating but it doesn't have to have to be take this time to love yourself first some of you may be sexually frustrated but Removing sex from the equation can actually help you get your head together, get your life together. What else do you got for the Virgos? Second half of April, please. Virgos, second half of April. That mirror effect you'll share excuse me you'll share unwanted habits or traits with a new love interest likely reflecting something in yourself so when somebody comes around they may do the same things that you do and you don't really see it until you don't really see it in yourself until they start doing it you like shit I gotta change that then we have sexual chemistry there goes that sex again You'll feel a powerful sexual chemistry with someone that will turn into something lasting on a deeper level. So not only are you going to possibly have sex, some of you may be making love for the second half of April, okay? Karmic love. You'll have an instant attraction with your karmic, but it's not meant to last. However, you'll learn big lessons in love. So even if you don't want it to happen, it's going to happen because it may be a faded event. So... You want uh, this this karmics are usually people that you learn lessons from. It's not within um 
it's not within destiny. It's not within the higher realms for you to stay with your karmic. Just to learn a few things. The longer you stay, the more lessons you'll learn. Bottom of the deck is unspoken love. You or your partner may prefer not to profess your love right away. Could be out of fear of rejection. So for those of you that are in a relationship with someone. And you guys are getting to know each other. You guys may not want to admit how you truly feel because... You either may fear that they'll reject you or you fear that they might not feel the same way. But this will be all right. Now, let's see what else they have to say to my wonderful Virgos. Here are the messages you got from Virgos. Virgo, second half of April, what messages do you have? Virgo, second half of April, what messages do you have, sir? What messages do you have for the Virgo, second half of April? Four of Pentacles, some of you feel like you may have. If some of you are not letting go of someone, excuse me. Okay. Some of you may not want to let someone go and you want to start a new cycle with them. So this could be you in the first part where the new beginning is coming about, but we will see. Let's see if we can get more information in regards to this four pentacles. You guys only have one card that came out. That's crazy. Nobody else had that. So I think yours is pretty much short and sweet to the point. Cards that came out were Four of Wands, Lovers, and Knight of Cups. Now, somebody definitely wants to come back. Not only do they want to come back, but they also want to have a new beginning. And this could be a new passionate beginning, or they could want to just make love to you. Yes, 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 yes. And they want, like, they feel like you're their soulmate. They are making the choice to come in with an apology because it may be someone from the past. Your person was stable, or they are stable. Look at that happiness. Something's being illuminated, or they just want to be happy. Yeah, look at this. Okay, yeah, look at this shit. You guys are probably going to have the shortest reading. You got the chariot and the king of wands. They are traveling towards you. Somebody is traveling towards you. We're moving forward, basically, and or this could be you, but yeah, they are not playing. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Damn fool card. They're taking a leap of faith. They want to be happy with you. My God, that is crazy. Let's put this in the middle here. Virgo, I don't know what else to tell you because it's kind of self-explanatory there. Give me a my messages for the Virgo second half of April. Virgo second half of April. Virgo second half of April. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Someone's going to come in with a gift. Or gonna, uh, gonna, there may be a new opportunity. Or maybe somebody wants a new opportunity because they love you. Queen of Cups. This is pretty short and sweet to the point. And look at this at the bottom. They want to work together with you. Yeah. This is kind of, this is pretty short and sweet. Virgo, I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, babe. I was looking at the bottom of the deck and yeah. Either you or this person is heartbroken without them and they're manifesting their um, way to you. 
they are like they're they're willing to take that risk to come to you if you guys are not already together. Angels, what do you have to say to the Virgos? Angels, what do you have to say to the Virgos the second half of April? Whatever question you're asking yourself, the answer is no. Jeez, unlikely. I feel like you're asking yourself with this person um, the same as they was before. Are they going to come back and do the same thing that they did previously? I feel like that's what this is about. I'll do around one more round. Angels, what do you have to say to the Virgos? Any other messages to the Virgos? Second half of April. I don't think this is negative. Yeah, see? Opportunity. Ask for help from others. So maybe you need to ask people around you for some help in regards to how you feel about this or what you should do about this. And at the bottom of the deck is don't stop. Don't stop what it is you're doing. Remain positive. Underneath that, romance. So yeah. Stay positive about what it is that's going on when this person comes around because I believe they have changed their ways, okay? So, Virgos, that's your reading for the second half of April. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for personal readings, to check out my website, to also um, donate to the channel and or you would like to follow me on social media. My information is in the description box below. And in the meantime, and in between time, my wonderful Virgos, I will be talking to you again soon. Bye.